From crops to cow comfort, farming has been a part of our Lancaster County heritage ever since America began. It's what we're famous for, the rolling hills and cattle out in the meadows. At my family's farm, Meadow Spring Farm, this is what we do every day, farm. But though it seems like an old-fashioned, slow, boring job, farming and agriculture have become very technologically advanced industries. Technology has impacted farmers greatly by helping them make the most of their land and crops. One type of technology that has changed farming significantly is really three simple letters, G-M-O, which stands for genetically modified organisms. This means that a change has been made to the DNA of an organism, usually a plant, through the process of biotechnology. This process has helped farmers get better yields from their fields and has kept crops healthier. But I wanted to know what goes into creating GMOs and how it's done. So I went to visit Polly Longenberger, who works at Pioneer Research Center as a research scientist and corn breeder to learn more. As a corn breeder, one of our main functions is to basically make new combinations uh, in breeding populations. And what that involves is making cross-pollinations with elite lines that already exist in our breeding programs and then we make selections from their offspring and then create new hybrid combinations which end up being the products that we sell to farmers. We work with different types of genes. Um, we work with both transgenic or what are commonly for, referred to as GMOs and we also work with native traits and basically the difference between the two is that uh, when you talk about a transgenic trait it's one that comes from a, an organism other than corn. Uh, a lot of the ones that are currently on the market those genes originate in bacteria and they've been selected and inserted precisely into the corn genome because they confer a, a benefit to the crop and when you talk about native traits, those are occurring in corn and we basically try and make selections in particular environments or under particular stresses um, to select for favorable genes that are occurring in the different lines. The problem is that people don't understand what GMOs really are. They see them as health hazards and unsafe food items when this really isn't the case. The GMO crops are actually some of the most tested um, products on the market today and through all that testing the findings from all of that research has been that they are safe and if you do a nutritional comparison between a GMO version of, of a crop and its you know conventional counterpart um, there is no di difference from a nutritional standpoint. And now it's your turn. Help spread the word that GMOs are good and support your dairy farmers by standing up for GMOs. But together, we can all make a difference. So let's start now.